Florida has been a national leader in standing up for school children through innovation and bold school reform, and I applaud your efforts. Michelle Ree's message to Florida lawmakers, you're on the right track in education reform, but more change is needed. Now is an opportunity to be even more aggressive. Especially now that the state's public schools and universities face more than $3 billion in budget cuts. Following our dollars, tracking them, determining what the return on investment is, and then making sure that we stop doing the things that aren't producing results for kids and invest more in the things that will. What works? Ree's philosophy comes down to three principles she shares with Governor Rick Scott as his education advisor on policy. The first is eliminating the bad teachers from the good ones. You're not a big fan of tenure, is that right? That's correct. Why is that? Because I'm a big fan of making sure that, te that kids are learning. And uh, it, right now, what the research shows is that there is no correlation between teacher tenure and student achievement. Ree says to assure high quality teachers in the classroom, establish a teacher merit pay system. Kill Bill a system opposed by Florida teachers last year and vetoed by former Governor Charlie Crist. Ree says teachers should reconsider. When you put in place a model that is mostly based on your student achievement growth, but other, also takes into account observations of your classroom practice, um, is, is, takes into account the kinds of students that you're teaching, uh, then you have a much more objective, much more fair, and much more transparent process that you can count on as a professional. Ree's second principle, Washington, D.C.'s former chancellor of school says Florida parents need more school choice, such as charter schools and vouchers. One of many aggressive changes she successfully made in D.C. while angering many along the way. So what makes Michelle Ree so controversial, polarizing? She says the answer is simple. She shakes up the status quo and puts students first. So I think that overall, we need to stop thinking about what's in the best interest of the system, start thinking about what's in the best interest of children, and make the policies accordingly. In Tallahassee, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News.